Hey friends, welcome to Voltage Online today. I'm so glad you're here to join us. As you can see, it's a bit dark behind me at the moment, but we have loads of friends coming to join us and they're going to show you some interesting places to learn that Jesus is our savior. I'll see you at the end. Voltage. So today we're playing a game, which is a best friends quiz. So since we're not really allowed to have friends over, what you need to do is go grab a parent or a sibling and also grab a pair of shoes for yourself, a pair of shoes for whoever you're with. Um, make sure your audio is turned up loud so you can hear Rachel ask the questions. And you can either grab a chair and sit back to back or sit on the floor back to back. So what's gonna happen is Rachel's gonna ask the questions and what you have to do is without talking to one another, hold up the person's shoe that it represents more. So if the question's who watches more TV more out of me and Emma, the answer is me, so we both hold up my shoe. But if we pick opposite, like, so if I pick myself and she picks herself, then we didn't win. You're gonna try and get as many right as possible, but you're not allowed to talk, so let's get into it. <laughs> Who is the tallest? Me, I'm taller. Who eats the most chocolate? <laughs> I love chocolate. Who is the loudest singer? Who is the worst cook? <laughs> <laughs> Don't eat his food. Oh, well, that's mean. Who would win a running race? Who is the most patient? Yeah. Who likes school the most? If I went to school. I still like it more than me, even though you don't. <laughs> Who is the oldest? Who is the best dancer? Last question, who is more likely to forget the other person's birthday? Uh, I haven't done that before, I promise. <laughs> Jesus is our saviour and best friend. He knows us better than anyone else. Jesus shows us what friendship looks like and to love one another. All right, so grab your Bibles. We're going to read from John chapter 15, verse 12 to 15. It says... This is my command, love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I do not call you servants anymore because a servant doesn't know what his master is doing. I have called you friends because I have made known to you everything I have heard from my father. Jesus loves his friends, you and I, so much that he laid down his life on the cross and rose again so we could be saved. Today's lesson is all about Jesus, my best friend. He is so much more than that. I believe Jesus is my Savior. Can you believe it? During one of his last days, Jesus gathered his 12 disciples, his closest friends who had been with him through thick and thin, and celebrated the Passover with him. The disciples didn't know it, but this was to be his last supper. During this meal, Jesus told them how he would soon leave them, but also spoke of hope as he took the first communion of bread and wine with them, explaining that his blood would be the redemption for the sins of the world. The disciples were confused. What was going on? This teacher, this rabbi, their friend was leaving? They had known him only a few short years and he's telling them now? But it soon came to pass, later that night, Jesus was arrested. He was hung on a cross and cried out to God as the weight of sin crushed his shoulders. As it says in John 15, 13, the greatest love a person can show is to die for his friends. Jesus became not only our friend, but the Messiah, our savior. The disciples didn't know what to do after Jesus had died. They felt lost and confused. So they went back to what they knew. They went fishing. But no matter how hard they tried, they could not catch a single fish. Then a mysterious man arrives at the shore. Friends, haven't you any fish? No, they replied. Then throw your net out to the other side. They had nothing to lose, so they did. And instantly the net was so full they couldn't pull it into the boat. Straight away they knew who it was. It was Jesus. They excitedly made their way to shore. Jesus shared a meal with his disciples on the beach like old friends. He was back. 
He was alive and He came to see them. This story shows that Jesus was a friend to His disciples. And just as He is a friend to them, He is also a friend to us. Through Jesus, our relationship is now restored with God. We are no longer separated from God, but can now enjoy full friendship with Him. I believe Jesus is my Savior. Hi, everybody. Check this out. How beautiful is all of this? All this water. Look how much there is. And it goes all the way, all the way over there. Look, there's an offspray on that on the bench over there. But look at all that water. See how calm that water is? See how it's really soft and shiny and it looks really inviting, doesn't it? Looks like that we could easily swim in that and that we would be okay. But what you can't see, the tide's actually going out. And underneath this calm is a big storm brewing and there's a push and a pull of the waves. And if you get caught in that, if they become stronger, just as the tide's at the lowest point, you could end up way out, way out there. Because this water here goes all the way down to where those poles are. Can you see those poles over there? So this water will all go away. At the moment, it's pretty low tide, but it gets a lot lower than this. What happens is if you get stuck in this and you are swimming and swimming and swimming and you swim so hard, you get really tired. And that's when you can get into a lot of trouble because if you get tired and stop, something bad might happen. And here in this water, we've got sharks. How scary would that be if we, had, if we were trying to swim away from the sharks and we got tired? So what happens is if you're swimming out there and you get exhausted and you get tired and you start to sink, it kind of feels a bit like sin. You know when you're making all these choices and they're not great choices and sin's trying to swallow us up. We need someone to come along and rescue us. When we're out here, someone will come along with a big life jacket or a big long noodle or a life ring and save us and that's so important because it keeps us safe if they come out and rescue us that's kind of like Jesus Jesus is my rescuer he's my savior and he comes and he's come into this world and he came to rescue me from my sins and he did the same for you guys as well how amazing is that I mean God gave us his one and only son to come and rescue us from all of our sins. It says it in 1 John 4, 14, that God sent his son to be the savior of our world. That just is so big that we have someone, one person came in and took all of our sins away. He is our saviour and our rescuer. That's just so cool. You know, when I was a young kid and came shopping with my mum, I'd often ask if I can come up to the sports section to have a look around or the toy section. And mum would say, yeah, as long as you meet us back at this time or come back to this place. And I'd often just either ignore her or completely disobey her because I wanted to do my own thing. And it's a bit like our relationship with God sometimes. We ignore him, his instructions, or completely just be disobedient. And there's a word for that. Can you guess what the word is? The word's called sin. And the problem with sin is that it, it separates us from God. A bit like now separated from my family. I'm, I'm not sure where they are. Well, the thing is, when it comes to a relationship with God, we need a rescuer. Someone to come and find us, to help us 
find God again. By the way, where is my family? Where could they be? Well, I'm still looking for my family. I'm still separated and lost, but as I've been walking around looking for them, I've been thinking about how I can be made right with God. What's this? I found a letter. Oh, this is interesting. Come and have a look at this. Come and check this out. It says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And Jesus writes that. Oh, that's right. Jesus is the way to be made right with God. He's the way that we can be restored back to God. He's the truth. And because he's the truth, he can be trusted. And it says that he's the life. That reminds me that he sent his son. God sent his son. Whoever believes in him may not perish, but have eternal life. So Jesus is the way to be made right with God. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to being back with my family again. Have you ever experienced being lost and then being reunited with family or friends again? That's a good word, isn't it? Reunited. Check this out. Another bit of paper. It says, there is more joy in heaven over one lost sinner who repents and returns to God than over 99 others who are righteous and have not strayed away. The words of Jesus again. I guess that's in the same way as that feeling we have when we're reunited with family or friends. In the same way, there's joy in heaven, it says. There's, there's a party in heaven when a sinner returns and, and repents to God. It's an interesting word, that word re repent, isn't it? What does that mean, repent? Well, I guess I've, it's a bit like me walking down this footpath here. I've, I've been walking this way. Repent means to turn and go back the opposite way. But it, you don't just turn and go the opposite way to nothing. It says repents and returns to God. So we can either choose to walk life and go our own way or we can repent, turn and walk back and go God's way. And it says, when we do that, there's a party in heaven. That gives me an idea. Maybe instead of walking that way, I need to go back that way to find my family. Salvation is found in no one else, no one else. For there is no other name under heaven given to mankind by which we must be saved, by which we must, which we must, which we must be saved.
previously on Big. Just in time for your next big project. Record an album for kids to be played around the world. That means we need to come up with like a dozen new songs. My name's Gus, I'm studio manager type person around here, and I'm here to bring the music out of you. Have you forgotten what it says in the Bible? Genesis 1.27. So God created human beings in his own image. You can represent him because you're made like him. I'm created in the image of God. Now that's a great thing to write a song about. One, two, three, four! Writing songs is fun. I know exactly what to write about. Jesus, he's the greatest person ever and my best friend. I had most of the song worked out. I just needed an amazing chorus. Jesus, you are a king, so you have a palace with several rooms. Ah, that's not good. FMD. Look what I have. A boomerang! You know what they say about a boomerang. It always comes back. Mm. And I got you one too. That you can share with me. Sharing is caring. Let's go. <laughs> What's wrong? It's just, I really want to finish this song. It's about Jesus. Oh, let me help. Um, Jesus rhymes with cheeses, but he's so much. Better than feta. No, that's not really. He's holier thing. than Swiss cheese. Mm, Jesus, he's for everybody, even the lactose intolerant. Yeah! Nice. I would like to finish this myself. Oh, okay, fine. Jesus, you are my Jesus? Ah, oh, come on! Alright, settle down. Would you like a drink? Could I get a lonely badger? What's a lonely badger? Well, it's a glass of milk that's been left in an underground burrow for six months. I've got tea. Lovely. Hey Mikey, I've been working on a machine that can read people's minds. Oh yeah? I would love to hear your thoughts. Silly FMD, he doesn't want to play. Hey there friend, why the long face? Great, first FMD doesn't want to play and now there's something wrong with my face. How long is it? No, 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 you look sad. Yeah, well, my friend doesn't want to play. All he wants to do is write a song. Ah, uh, yes. I've seen that before. You have? I too had a friend who didn't want to play. He wanted to write a song. Next thing I knew, he had no time for me at all. He was always writing songs. <gasps> he even went on a songwriting tour around the world. <gasps> he didn't even send me a postcard. <gasps> Are you going to let him get away with that? No. You should give him a piece of your mind. Yeah. Now? Right. How do I give him a piece of my mind? I need all the pieces. No, here's what you should do. I'm getting nowhere. I need a break. I wonder what Nath is. Ah. Hey FMD, you like songs? Well here's a song for you. Great. FMD is leaving me. It will be hard when he doesn't send me a postcard. Wait, 
What? Yeah, it's called FMD is leaving me. And here's another one. FMD is a bad friend. I think our friendship has come to an end. Maeve, calm down. Calm down? I will calm down after one more song. It all started when FMD wouldn't play with me and now he's touring the world with his band. Nath, stop. That doesn't rhyme. It'd be better if it was FMD didn't want to play, now he's touring with his band in LA. Oh yeah, that sounds much better. No! I won't listen to you, you, you traitor! Nath, what are you talking about? All you want to do is write songs, and soon you'll be always writing songs. And then you'll join a band, and you'll travel the world without me. And you won't even send me a postcard. Nave. <laughs> Nave. Nave, <laughs> look at me. I'm not joining a band and touring the world without you. Plus, if I was, I'd definitely send you a postcard. How many postcards did I send you when I went on vacation to LA? Only one! Uh, Every day. Exactly. Nath, you are my best friend. And you will always be. Nothing will ever change that. Thanks, FMD. I guess the business... That's it! The song! Oh, Nath, want to help me write a song? Does a boomerang come back when you throw it? All right, could you keep it down, please? We are in here, trying to do some expert songwriting. Right after we watch the latest church, baby. He's right. Oh, hello, my tiny, terrific toddler. Hi. <laughs> it's so good to be here at church, no? Huh? <gasps> <laughs> yes, my friend, uh, but I've had a rough week. No. Yes, on Monday, I'd make spaghetti necklace. So much fun. Spaghetti. On Tuesday, i make potato stamp. So much fun. Potato. On Wednesday, they give me spaghetti and potato salad for dinner. How dare they cook my toys. You're the only one who listens to me. Don't let me tell to you. And number one problem of week. You see, at the daycare, I have a friend called Frankie, and he want to only play his way. His way? Yes, 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 but his was silly way. I knew what we needed to do. I needed to play my way. My way. <laughs> yes, and then he said he did not want to be my friend. I don't understand. I am completely right, yeah? Yeah, way. What was that, my friend? Yeah, way. <gasps> Are you telling to me that Yahweh, Jesus Christ himself, wants to be my best friend forever? And out of that security, I can move towards reconciliation with Frankie because this is what Jesus would want me to do. Is that what you're telling to me, my friend? Milky Way. Oh! Now you're talking about space? You have blown my mind! This was awesome. I'm writing a song about my best friend Jesus with my best friend Nate. It wasn't too long before we had something ready to try. Let's hear it.
I'm sorry I overreacted before. I don't know what came over me. Don't worry about it, Nath. We're best friends. It would take a lot more than that to come between us. Ah, yes. It would take a lot more than that to get between you both. And I know exactly how to do it. <laughs> ha! Have you worked out who I am yet? Or do you still not understand? <laughs> For our discussion time today, I'd like you to look up, or maybe you can even say, Isaiah 53.6, and I want you to tell the person near you, why do we all need to be rescued? The second question I'd like you to answer is, how can we be made right with God? And you can look up, or maybe you still have it in your head from last year when we memorised it. Romans chapter 5, verse 8. It's been a fun day, hasn't it? The things we need to remember for today are that Jesus is our saviour and our best friend. He knows us better than anybody else ever will. And Jesus shows us what friendship looks like to love one another. Jesus loves his friends so much that he laid down his life on that cross and he rose again so that we could be saved. I believe Jesus is my saviour. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through Him all things were made. Without Him nothing was made that has been And the Word was with God And the Word was God He was with God In the beginning Through Him all things were made Without Him nothing was made That has been made He is the Word John 1 Verse 1, 2, 3 Verse 1, 2, 3 Let's head over and see our funny man Dan quiz for today. FMD's big quiz? Hmm. Ah, it's me, FMD! It's time for my quiz! Yay! Up on your feet, and when you see the right answer, do the same pose as me! Question What separates us from God? Tin, sin, or a bin? Sin, bin. Sin separates us from God. Question. Who is our saviour? Jesus, James or Peter? Is it Jesus, James or Peter? Our saviour is Jesus. Jesus is our fridge, enemy, friend. Is he our fridge, our enemy, or friend? Ch 
Jesus is our friend! Well done! Now it's time to dance! See you next time! We have some friends having a birthday this week. They are Joseph and Noah and Cohen. So let's sing happy birthday to them now. Ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to friends. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Hooray! Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday week, boys. Hope you have a fantastic week. sing a few songs now. Let's start with the Kirkgaard family with I Believe. Thank you. 
joining us today. Before we go, let's pray. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. God, we want to thank you that you love every single person on earth so much that you sent Jesus to die for our sins. We thank you that when we ask you, you forgive us and you want us to be friends with you. God, we thank you that you love us and we just pray that you will be with us as we go through our weeks and help us to be able to show the people around us how much you love us by the way that we love them as well. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great week, everyone. Bye.